Health and safety is a boring career. It's a boring job. It's just like clipboards and hard hats. You know, it's just a boring job. I think there's spiders in this. Well, in this video, there's loads of people that disagree with you. Let's get into the video. What's up guys, welcome back to Rebranded Safety. Rebranded Safety is exactly what it says on the tin. We're here to challenge those health and safety gone mad practices and perceptions. We do that by providing long form, in-depth conversations on the podcast and on this YouTube channel, we provide tips, tricks, toolbox Tuesdays, keynotes, the lot. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss another episode. In this video, we're doing day two, the HSC Congress, the second live video that we did as part of a media partnership with them. And today we're talking about health and safety career, health and safety job is boring, like so boring, or that's what people think. So I'm going around asking them, annoying people, shoving a camera in their face, being like, health and safety is a bad career. Tell me I'm wrong. It's kind of annoying, really. But we got some amazing, amazing responses. So if you're thinking about a career in health and safety, watch this video, because there's loads of people that will tell you that it's a great Great job. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Right, we're live. Day two. Health and safety is a boring job. Changed my mind. It is day two. Everyone's a bit tired, so let's bear with it. Can, can I interrupt you? Sorry, quickly. Yeah, you're probably going to want to ask this guy as well. I've already you... scoped him up as well, so oh, we'll go good. you first. Yeah. I think health and safety is a boring job. You need to change my mind. Go. It's not a boring job. I mean, I, I've been doing it a long time, thankfully, and it's something that gets me out of bed every morning. Yeah. And it's the variation, really, that we we get to, we get to have a look at. And the other thing as well is people say thank you to you. Okay. Okay. I like that. Good. Kendall, I know you don't directly work as a safety <laughs> profession, but you work with them. That's correct. And I actually come from a clinical psychology background. So when I moved into the world of health and safety, I really didn't know what I was getting into. And you hear a lot of rumors and stereotypes about it being really compliance oriented. But when you get stuck into the organizational change management aspect of it, it becomes really fascinating around how you tap into why people do what they do, engaging senior leaders and transforming businesses to get more curious about the world of work. So if I go back four years in time and I knew this was an opportunity that was available to me as a career choice, as a psychology student, absolutely, I would have wanted to know more about it. I like that. Well done. Thank you very much. Cheers, Sherry. Sorry, you are. That was good. Sorry, gents, I'm going to have to interrupt you. Well, I'll, I'll let you go first because you are a kind of yeah, safety professional as a director of, I believe, if I'm right. And then I thought of one for you. Okay. The, the will go with like your perception of safety. So I'll give you okay. a couple of seconds to think about it. Okay, I think health and safety is a boring job. Convince me I am wrong. Change my mind. Health and safety is not a boring job. It's actually the best job that's out there. It's so varied. No day is uh, the same. And um, what I would really think is like it's really challenging, but you've got a real opportunity to help people, inspire people, but ultimately stop people getting injured, either you know seriously or from an ill health. Now a lot of stuff are addressing it, like mental health, so you can have real impacts on the community. You know, it's so varied, amazing, best job ever. Okay, so a bit of a challenge with yourself. So you work in leadership. Yep. Um, what's your kind of you, the perception around health and safety? Someone say, do you want a job in health and safety? What, what would you be like? Nah, mate. Or would you be like, actually, yeah. I think, I think there's a, like a lot of people here, there's a lot, an amazing opportunity for health and safety uh, professionals to lead change, to challenge convention, to um, get away from being, you know, the old way of being policemen and women to actually... Um, making ripples through the businesses and shifting the way people think, behave, feel and look after each other. So it's an exciting job. Well, considering I caught you both off guard, thank you very much, gents. Let's see if we can find a couple more. There's Gareth over here. Gareth's been on the podcast. Let's see if we can grab... We're going to grab Gareth. Hello, mate. You can go on video for me, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah, I think health and safety is a boring job. I'd like you in about 30 seconds to convince me why I'm wrong. It is a boring job, mate. <laughs> I'm joking, yeah. Um, I don't know, I think it's, it's uh, just being human, so I think it's uh, yeah, just being curious and being nosy, so I think it's not necessarily a lot to do with 
technical skills and knowledge is, is that having that ability and be able to draw on it. So I think for me, it's um, I just like just nosy basically. That's why I like you it. Like being so nosy. yeah, yeah. And you've got a job bad. that allows you to be nosy. Exactly that. Yeah. Okay, I like it. Cool. I like it. Cheers, buddy. I'll catch you in a bit. Cheers. Let's see if we can uh, find some more. Well, these these two fine gentlemen will do. Robert Jukes got away with it yesterday, so he can answer my question today, for sure. Sorry, gentlemen. And then you go second, so don't run away. Yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah. the lighting's not very good, is it? No, it's just, <laughs> well, how safety is a boring job? Change my mind. Um, it is if you make it boring. Oh, I think it's what you I make like it. That. Um, Elaborate. You know, you go into your role and you you decide you know, you've got some kind of autonomy in your role to decide uh, you know what approach you're going to take. Um, you know whether you're in a, a major organisation or a small organisation. So yeah, whatever type of organisation you're in, you've got different areas that are going to be in your remit, so you can, your approach to it and how you drive that. And I think if you focus on the people, then it's not going to be boring because you, people okay. are boring. All right, so. in 10 seconds, then why should something work in safety? 10? Uh, it changes day to day, it's exciting, it matters, and we need more young people involved, so yeah. Cool, well, then, same That's to you. Very good. Safety, boring <laughs> job, change the mind. Um, Health and safety is not a boring job. If you have a curious mind, every day that you go to work will be different. Um, it's a purpose-driven career, so you have a real chance to make a significant impact. Um, you can save people's lives, you can improve their health and their well-being, you can help people thrive and flourish in what they do, um, and you can work in some really cool elements. There's people that work at the Football Association, I work in Formula One, people work at you know, events like Glastonbury to make sure all the people are, there, are safe. Um, <laughs> I mean, some people will tell you F1's boring, so you know, it's all about perception. Um, but yeah, the, the good thing about it is it's a core set of principles that you can take into any industry, so you can move around, you can go you know, across the globe, apply your trade, make a difference, it's pretty cool. Well, I'm quite late, that'll do for today. It's a, it's a long day, long two days, but that'll do for now. Thank you. Safe. Okay, guys, if you're thinking about having a career in health and safety, I hope this video has convinced you. Maybe you weren't sure what career you were going to have, and this has convinced you, do you know what? I'm going to work in health and safety. If that's the case, comment below. I would like to know. Let's converse with each other. If you're thinking about having a health and safety event, you're thinking, I'm liking what James is doing at Rebrand and Safety, all this media partnership stuff, the vlogs, the podcasts, the live videos, boom, boom, boom. Then email me, rebrandandsafety at gmail.com. We can have a chat about your event. I'll catch you next week. Safe.